This one? Oh, this way. There we go. Yeah, like Tom said, thanks for coming out and joining us. I feel that humidity. And, and I will have to tell you, we don't really feel that in Colorado, but that's okay. It's, it's beautiful here, too. Uh, let's start with that good old uh, song. Um, then we all get to, no, yeah, not with that one. Why can't I think of it? What a day that will be, my bad. coming a day when no heartache shall come no more clouds in the sky no more tears to dim the eye all is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore what a day glorious day that will be what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, when I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. be no sorrow there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there, and forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, when I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. So yeah, welcome to our unedited, <clears throat> unrehearsed living room sing-along out here by this beautiful garden. And uh, I was looking forward to meeting with you folks for quite a while already. It's almost like a reunion because this is the second time, right, that we came in person. So I'd like for it to be a little different than you just watching us. i uh, love to have comments, testimonies of praise to the Lord, just a time of fellowship, maybe uh, some song requests, that, songs that you would like to sing. <clears throat> and um, it might not be fair for me to mention names here, but uh, we have some folks who traveled quite a distance. The Andersons are from uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Did I say that right, Harrisonburg? No? Or somewhere in that area? Yeah. Okay, somewhere in that area. And he's been a banjo picker. And uh, then there's the Marlows all the way from Harrisonburg, too. And, I, and uh, Larry, you told me that... Uh, you guys have been pretty much with us from the time we started, way back in the day. Oh, my word. Bless you. All right. So you know more about us than we do. <laughs> anyway, we're so glad that we had the opportunity to do this. Uh, I would have never in our wildest dreams imagined what the living room sing-along sing developed into. And it's not to bring any glory or praise. As a matter of fact, if you measured by standards of professionalism or anything like that you know <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere but i love to think of what the lord does with when people just sit down and take a moment to reflect and to praise 
and to share burdens and that kind of thing. And especially when their distance isn't a problem. It's just amazing when you stop and think about it. Folks from all over the world actually, uh, or uh, from many places in the world, not just here in America, have been in contact with us through the sing-along. And uh, so that's just been a real treat. Uh, there's a, there's several of them that comment on in Spanish or something that I always have to hit translate. And I'm so glad that Google does that for me or Facebook <laughs> does that for me because I, I can't I, I can't read otherwise. So so yeah, we want it to be your evening, a fun evening for you. And I know you can't sing and eat popcorn at the same time, but maybe somewhere in between there you can join us when you when you feel led to and and uh, make comments and that sort of thing. But you have to talk real loud because we feel like we're kind of far away. How is the sound? Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Are you okay with it? Okay, praise the Lord. All right, good for that. All right, so we're going to take some requests. Some uh, Usually what we do, of course, is take the requests from the last sing-along. We've been having our sing-alongs every Monday and Thursday until just real recently, before we left Colorado. We announced that we would be having it just Mondays. It's gotten pretty busy with me being involved in the... Uh, New Horizons Ministries there as a, as a chaplain and some of the different uh, responsibilities that we're doing there and also plugging into the church and into the community has just uh, kind of yeah got us to the place where we were saying okay we're going to do it one night a week and uh, see what happens with that and who knows maybe it's time is over but it was good <laughs> for the last a couple years it was, it's been a good a good thing a good enjoyment for all of us all right so, what's the request? You got somebody there. Okay. Christina Baker requested, I shall not be moved. Oh, yeah. I shall not be moved. When I when I hear this song, I think of that, that one uh, uh, movie, uh, Perfect Harmony. The the uh, the Negro church is, is singing that song, I shall not be moved. Boy, I tell you, they sing it right. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, I shall not be moved. Anchored in Jehovah, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. Lord, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. Lord, I shall not be moved. Tempest rages. Though the tempest rages, I shall not be moved. On the rock of ages, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the waters, Lord, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree. That's planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. Thinking about that song, we're built on the side. We're not going to move to a different foundation. We're going to keep trusting in the Lord. Special shout out to, or thanks to Tom and, and, um, It'll come to me. It'll come to me if I think long enough. What? I knew, I knew that. Tom and Elsie. Elsie wouldn't have given me a dinner tonight if she didn't know I was going to forget her name. Special, special shout out to them. My, my. Tom and Elsie have just been uh, such supporters of the sing-along. We asked Tom a, a good while back if he would kind of be a... Uh, admit, we gave him admin privileges, in other words, to take off. When you when you put up social media up like that, uh, you never know what lands on it sometimes. And, and so we've not had a lot of that, but Tom's been really good at guarding that and also setting this up and, and of course, telling the, his, his, his train stories. And that's, that's always good to hear, and lots of other stories. He's a good storyteller, by the way, just in case you wonder. So if you ever feel like you need a bedtime story, just go over and see Tom. Make sure you, you know, get there before bedtime, but, yeah. Anyway, where are we going next, Ron? Uh, okay, Denise McDonald requested Sheltered in the Arms of God. Denise McDonald, beautiful song. Dottie Rambo wrote this one. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're leading me. The dark clouds rise. 
So we sing that. Do you feel that? Do you believe that? Do you sense that? I know there's times, particularly in the last several years, when it was hard to feel that uh, in some ways. Or, and I don't know that feels the right word, but I think you know what I mean. Hard to realize that and to wrap your mind around it. And um, I just, that last phrase in the second verse caught my attention. Something about falling asleep and waking up in the arms of God. And my mind went to the last time we were here. Um, we came for uh, Raymond Miller's funeral. Raymond Miller is, of course, married to Anna Mary, who is Ruth's older sister. And she happens to be in Delaware right now. She went back uh, with the uh, Bible reunion, and she's spending a number of weeks back there, I think. So I don't know if you're listening or not, Anna, but uh, just uh, wanted to, again, honor the memory of, of Raymond and had a lot of fun at his farm in years gone by. When we lived in Delaware, it was only about a two-hour trip to come over here, and we'd come over and spend some time over. And actually, Ruth was over here um, babysitting for her brother, brother Marvin's children when I was courting her, right? And I came all the way over here to see you once. I was really impressed with you then already, too. So I still am, so just saying. I think we were engaged. Virginia's for lovers. Is that what they say? <laughs> anyway, yeah. So here we are. A lot of memories, uh, talking with Robert a little bit about the journey of life. And it's hard to believe that, uh, you know, I remember the hearing of the beginning of Dayspring. And we would come down sometimes as a quartet years ago and sing at um, Faith and uh, learn to know and appreciate Simon Schrock and the people there. And I also have some Nisley relatives around here. Uh, Dan Nisley is my uncle, and he just passed away a number of years ago. And then, of course, uh, we have, we have quite a few Nisley relatives around here somewhere. Matter of fact, we passed a couple of them, we think, in, in tractors with balers. And it might have not been them, but I said, I wonder if that's a Nisley. I mean, there's lots of farmers here, so I thought probably not. But then she said, I'll bet they are because they have, they're wearing suspenders. So, you know, so I, you know, I know a lot of Nisley boys do, so maybe that was them. But anyway. And then there's Les Byler. Oh, my word. I better stop talking less, but you know, we, we met less again down in Florida and uh, had some fun there. Just uh, he took us out for lunch, I remember one thing. So, anyway, do I owe you a lunch, Les? Or? We did it to each other. Oh, okay, okay, we did. Uh, that's right, we did. All right, good, good, all right. Well, here's an old song that's been around that I think I'm pretty sure this is the most popular, if that's the word, the most sung hymn ever. Um, and you know what it is, Amazing Grace. And somebody requested that tonight, and I thought, how appropriate. 
I like to sing that here in the beauty of this garden. Yeah. Christine Smith requested this song. It's for you, Christine, and for all of us. In the key of G. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Which one was that? The Lord has been so ah, you know, that's one that I didn't memorize a lot. I love that verse too. Let's do it. The Lord has been so good to me. you for that you know that's not in a lot of the hymn books I, well i guess it is in the newer ones but yeah it's not, it's not in all of them. yeah it's not it was it's not in this one <laughs> you could tell that right <laughs> i like some of the i also like the way they put amazing grace with my chains are gone isn't that beautiful too that one and uh and all i, I want to see just one verse of that fill up my cup is with that one remember that one amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Let's be the tide that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Fill up my cup. Fill my cup, let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Anybody have something they'd like to say? Yes. Ah, yeah, we're going to, we actually had that one picked out. So we try to uh, pay some attention to marriage and love and relationships on our sing along usually. And we've uh, tried to always sing a, a love song or two. And, and I, you know, sometimes um, when you get ready to, to set up to sing, things can happen, you know. I remember, especially when we had children, it seemed like the children always got real naughty right before we were ready to go sing. I'm not sure I never did figure that one out. So I remember quite a few times we'd sit down and have prayer before we, before we'd um, go up to give a program and and say, uh, you know, Lord forgive us, help us to keep our cool. And uh, for for Ruth and I, every once in a while we sat down and we looked at each other and we said, Are we okay with each other? <laughs> but anyway, Mockingbird Hill. I love that song. Talks about. Way back in the day when we, oh no, no, I was thinking of the other ones. He said Mockingbird Hill. Oh, that's not a love song. What am I, where, I was thinking of the Bluebird song. Ay, ay, ay. What's that? Bluebird song. Is that the one you were thinking about? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, see, great minds think alike, Larry. <laughs> 
They are both. You're right. <laughs> we have that one here somewhere. Boy, I, I love this water sound in the background. It doesn't come on the PA system, does it? Not good. All right. All right. But I do love it. Good background. Of course, then there's the traffic. Speaking of traffic, I think you Eastern people that run the Beltway in the 66 probably have a bit more character than the rest of us because it just really, you, you have to learn patience on that thing and some other things too, forgiveness. <laughs> it's funny because we were coming back uh, a couple of weeks, uh, last weekend I think it was going back to Delaware and we got up there Breezewood, you know, where the exit off the turnpike and traffic everywhere. And this guy pulled right out in front of me. If I wouldn't have stopped, he'd have run into me. And I almost lost my cool. I blew my horn at him, which wasn't, you know, nice necessarily because he, he knew what he was doing. But I thought about, okay, I'm in the east again. I have to learn to keep my cool when I'm driving. None of that, none of that road rage, none of that stuff. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to the love song. Let's do that. Oh, I won't do that until we do the... I won't play the mouth or until we do the music. Okay. Ready? I met a girl out in the hills who gave my lonely heart a thrill. Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring. And when I looked into her eyes, I thought of bluish summer skies. And when I held her hand in mine, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of wandering. Wondering if you love her, will she marry, marry if you'll ask her, will her heart beat, heart be true for him, for, for then and evermore, and when she's lonely, lonely is to know her, is there sadness, sadness will endear her, will they always, always be together, until in death they part. I courted her for months on end until she promised we would wed. We planned on being married in the spring. All through those long cold winter months, it seemed that spring would never come. And every gloomy winter day, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of waiting, waiting for the flowers, and of counting, counting every hour till the bluebird bluebird chirps its welcome into the world once more and though we're waiting waiting for the sunshine we keep hating hating every storm cloud that has gathered gathered o'er the mountain to keep us far apart And when at last spring touched the earth, we were married in that village church. Our wedding seemed just like a dream come true. So many years have come and gone, our love is still as true and strong as when I found her long ago. And still the bluebirds sing, they sing of loving, loving every hour that I'm married. Married to my flower, we'll be happy, happy ever after. And since the day we met, and though we're older, older love is sweeter. We'll grow fonder, fonder of each other. We'll be sweethearts, sweethearts both together until the end of time. And that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Yes, announce that the restrooms are straight in through the front door there, down the hall, on the right or left. Yes, and Tom had to write this. <laughs> they will know their gender. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tom. And thanks for the iced tea, ladies. Appreciate that. I was going to keep you up here singing, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe later, huh? Yes, I think tonight, right now is a good time to sing that You Are Creator song that, um, yeah. Is it okay to sing that one? 
you know it now. I actually trying to work on a bridge for that song, and I yeah, it's almost done, not quite yet. But many years ago, and even now, being of seeing the beauty of God's creation, and back when I was out in a tractor and plowing, uh, just wanted to somehow give wor put words to the praise for this Creator God who made all things so beautiful. And one of the things that I'm especially noticing or aware of on this trip is the beauty of people how God made each one of you unique and it's so much fun uh, meeting you a little bit anyway hearing parts of your story and seeing how God's working in you for his glory this song says you are creator a song of worship to the Lord join in When I see the blue in the summer sky When I feel the dew in the morning grass When I smell the fragrance of the flowers in the spring I just thank you, Lord, for creating all these things You are creator of all things bright and beautiful Jehovah Jireh, Lord of all, and King of kings. And I will praise your name for just as long as I have breath. You deserve all the praise creation can bring. What is man that you are mindful of him? You can calm the storms and still the mighty wind. The trees clap their hands, the hills resound with praise. We will join in singing and to you our voices raise. You are creator. Lord of all and King of kings and I will praise your name for just as long as I have breath you deserve all the praise creation can bring and I will praise your name for just as long Creation can bring. Amen. Thank the Lord for his creation. Get me some tea wants up here. Oh, that's good. It's the spot. <clears throat> I think so. I, I thought about having Les come up. You think he'd come up? He's not usually shy. Not, not real shy anyway. Les, you know, you know the base part to that. Just a little talk with Jesus, don't you? No, let us. That one. Why don't you come up and help us sing that? Yeah, come on up here. He's such a shy boy. Yeah. You want less than me or more? <laughs> Man, I don't know, brother. I'm not sure how to answer that one. Tonight, when he asked me how I was, I gave him my typical answer. If I'd be any better, it'd be two of us. And he said he promised he'd like both of us. So <laughs> I told him we probably wouldn't get along with ourselves. So why don't you give him the mic? Here, you just take the mic. Just put it are, you, are, you, are you okay? Yeah, okay. Just put it there. All right, well, stick this up there, Can you all hear too. me okay? Can you all? Not much. No, it's okay. Let me see. How's that go? I once was lost to sin, right? Oh, you have the words there. All right. Yeah. You're going to be doing it better than the Statler Brothers? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't talking about them. They're legends. I know. I, I, I heard you. I don't know where what we got that those words from them. But anyway, in the key of G. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He paid my heart in love and wrote my name above. 
And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. Feel little prayer will turn in. No little fire is burning. We'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, I may have doubts and fears. My eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. Hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by. Feel a little prayer will turn in. Though a little fire is a burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Hey, before you go, wow, you're up here doing so good. I'm not I'm not sure yet. Let's do another song here. Um, there is a God. We got to do a verse of that. Oh, Can yeah, we do that? I love that song. Oh, do, do you know the bass part to step into? Yeah, the I do because we sang it in our quartet. No way. Yeah, but I might sing the song wrong. But we'll do it anyway. Uh, Let, we'll let's do, do it halfway. We'll do it halfway. <laughs> let's do step into the waters. What key? Step into the water. Water. Is that okay for you or not? Is that too low? Try. If it doesn't work, we'll do, redo it. All right. Yeah, we can We can always change the pitch, I know. Unedited and unrehearsed. Right. <laughs> Step into the water. Wait out a little bit deeper. Wet your feet in the water of his love. Step into the water. Wait out a little bit deeper. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. I'm going to go up to E. It is time for we, the people, to stand for what is right. It is time we squared our shoulders back and raised our swords to fight. For the Bible is our weapon and the Spirit is our shield. For the church needs more of its members to be workers in the field. To step into the water, wade out a little bit deeper. Wet your feet in the water of His love. Oh, step into the water, wade out a little bit deeper. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. There is a victory for the Christian who walks a narrow way. There has been a prize appointed for the soul who does not stray. Oh, I want to live for Jesus, be all that I could be. So that I can rest with Him forever, live eternally. Oh, step into the water, wade out a little bit deeper. Wet your feet in the water of His love. Oh, step into the water, wade out a little bit deeper. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. Come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Les. I appreciate that. Awesome. I'll never think of let, let him. What's that song? Less of me. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll remember that song. Maybe your, maybe your your girlfriend will have to sing that sometimes. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Good to see you here too. <laughs> All right. One of the old hymns of the church that. We'd like to do tonight, especially for someone who's watching online. I've had the opportunity of serving as chaplain in 
McMinnville, Oregon area at the Rock of Ages Retirement Village for 10 years before we moved to Colorado. While I was there, I met some beautiful people. And I thought about that when we were singing the song Amazing Grace. That, um, he's brought me through many years. Uh, boy, you, you want to talk about something out of Rip Batch. It's when you have a 90-year-old singing that with uh, deep emotion. But anyway, tonight, Jesse Young, it was a year ago today that her husband passed away, Bob went on to be with glory and we just had some great times with bob and jesse in the chapel there and bob had a great voice i'm pretty sure he's singing now in glory and uh, so yeah jesse this is especially for you and honor of bob and thank you for your testimony of your faith in christ and how you continue to serve him even as you go through those losses it's not easy to say goodbye to a loved one she asked for the song great is thy faithfulness indeed Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see, all I have needed thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto Glad tonight for the faithfulness of God. Wow, wow. Seasons come and seasons go. Just think about that. His love is unchanging. It's and the thing is we can learn so much more about it though. It just I mean, yeah, we, we don't grasp it. And here we are enjoying so much. Born in this beautiful country, the fourth of July is coming up, and I think about that. For me, I was born in nineteen fifty eight. And so I'm sixty four years old. And it was after the draft was off. There was just, I lived in the best of times. I didn't deserve it, really didn't. Uh, you know, the those my parents would have been familiar with the depression and you know some of those kind of things. But for me, growing up, little farm boy, oh, we 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 were poor, but we didn't know it, <laughs> except when, the, well, yeah, anyway, yeah. So um, I do remember wishing that I had some new pants sometimes. Mama, mama would sew them back in the day. And, uh, yeah, lots of good memories. Where are we going to go next, Ruth? Oh, yeah, okay. Song about heaven. In the sweet by and by. In the key of G. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over. Oh 
You are bountiful, Father above. We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our days in the sweet. Did you want to do any children's songs tonight? Should we or shouldn't we? We should do the dog in the window, shouldn't we? Okay. All right. Where's Where's the two gals here? Ladies, come on up here and help us bark. This might be the only chance where your parents will appreciate when you're sounding like a doggy. Not sure about that. I kind of got some pleasure in the thought that when we do this song, we did it in our sing-along some, and of course you know the story, Trevor dressed up as a puppy and would do the motions and things, things and that kind of got some attention. Um, but uh, it started in the, nurse, in the care, nursing care facility when I would sing, sing that song, and I, and I would love to watch the elderly looking for the doggy. Where's that doggy at that's barking? So we have to sound real tonight, guys, okay? Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Um, but there was something else I was going to say about that. What was it? Yes. Trevor's watching. All right. Well, Trevor, thank you. We wish you were here and could be dressed up like a puppy for these two ladies here. But you're not. You're there and we're here. So we're going to sing this in honor of you, puppy. <laughs> Popcorn. That was his nickname there. All right. In the key of C, I think. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. You got more time next time. I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. If she has a dog, she won't be lonely and the doggy will have a good home. So how much is that doggy in the window? Ow, ow. The one with the waggly tail. Ow. How much is that doggy in the window? Ow, ow. I do hope that doggy's for sale. Hey, before we do the last verse, I forgot something. Les, could you come up and, and do the camera here and make sure that the girls are on it? Just look through the back screen here. I, you should be able to see it. Can you see it or not? Is it showing? Should be. Yeah, yeah okay. And then also, while you're up here, people always want to see the crowd. Yeah, you can take that handle and scan the crowd. Are the girls all on here? You want me to? Yeah, if you don't mind doing that while, once we're done with the dog in the window, not while we're doing that. We want the girls to be on. Okay. Right, ladies? All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, what's the next verse? Oh, I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a parrot that talks. Well, I, want I want a cracker. cracker. I don't want a bowl of little fishies. Fish flesh. Cause you can't take a goldfish for a walk. Not real good. So how much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> the one with the waggly tail. <coughs> how much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> I do hope that doggy's for sale. All right. Good job, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, you can, if you want to scan the audience, that's fine. Sure. While I talk, that would be great. All right. Yeah, let's not. Let's, let's. Oh, was there a request? Okay. <laughs> Somebody requested. We'll do it. Yeah. There's the banjo, man. There you go. There's the banjo, man. Hey, that's give us right. a banjo solo. Yeah, we, we want to get him up there for him. I'm that. waiting. <laughs> I'll fly away would be good, wouldn't it? I'll keep it right there. What's that? You cannot hear the banjo. Well, that's your fault. You're sitting too far back. <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't kind, Elsie. I was just kidding. Well, he's going to come up, and we're going to feature him on a song here. I'll fly away. That's a banjo song, right? 
<clears throat> or we could do some other one if you'd rather do another one, brother. All right, that's fine. Yeah, you were here last time we were here, too. Bless your heart. Does he does he get his banjo out sometimes for the sing-along, too? or? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. Do you ever Let's tell see. him, wish it'd be quiet and put it away? You don't have to answer that. I'm teasing. <laughs> She's up, I put it up just a little bit. Oh, okay. I love it. Uh, okay, in the key of G, right? So you want to pick it out first or you want to sing it first? And then we'll have you pick it out. Whichever one you want. Go ahead. First name again? Tim. Tim. Tim? Tim. Okay, thank you, Tim. I apologize. I'm terrible with first names. Well, I'm actually terrible with last names, too. That's all right, Mike. <laughs> thank you. I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> That's good. I deserve that for sure. You know, we at, at uh, when I taught school back east, uh, for a couple years, or at least one year, we had three Michaels. In, in the same classroom. That was a mess. And to say we tried Mike and Michael and Mikey, or whatever, I don't know, but it, yeah, it was always a mess. So I said, if I'm looking at you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Where are we going next? Okay, Lante Forey requested, I've got a mansion. I've got a mansion, all right. Uh, this is one of my dad's favorite, I think. We'll do this in the key of C, I think, yeah? I'm satisfied with just the cottage below A little silver and a little gold But in that city where the ransom will shine I want a gold one that silver me poor or deserted or lonely I'm not discouraged I'm heaven bound I'm just a pilgrim in search of a city I want a mansion a harp and a crown I've got a mansion just don't 
over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow old. And someday yonder we will never more wander, but walk on streets that are pure as See about the gift of music and some of your involvement. And so if there's anybody else here that wants to come up and sing a song or share a song or pick a song or something, you're welcome to do that. Um, I was singing to Bob back there, you know, quite a few years singing with First Love. Bob, was that kind of your, your theme song, uh, First Love? Do you have the First Love to sing or didn't you even sing that one? No? I didn't even know the song. Okay, and that's something. Okay, all right. I thought maybe that's what kind of, you know, you used, but uh, okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Well, I think it's, it might be a Nelson Coburn's who sings, Do you have the first love the Savior gave you? Remember that one? That's all I know of that one, though. Sorry. So, yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty good song. Um, and that's a good question. How do you, as a believer, um, keep yourself from becoming lukewarm? How do you allow the Holy Spirit to just keep you fresh, <laughs> you know, and uh, that relationship stay fresh? Um, it's, you know, and I, re I think of that old cliche sounding bumper sticker that if you feel distant from God, who moved? <laughs> and we do wonder. We tend to, we tend to sometimes forget the many blessings uh, uh, and of, of knowing the knowing our Lord. Remind me of a song that Casting Crowns uh, sings that... Uh, did you pull that one, Ruth? Voice of Truth? Okay. I'd like to do that one next. If we oh, we can do this at first. We'll do that one. Yeah. That uh, they they wrote. And, you know, it's, this will age me, but I always thought Casting Crowns was contemporary, but they've been around a long time, too. So, But they wrote that, a few songs that really blessed me, one of them being Thrive and, and um, uh, the, the uh, oh, Peace in the Storm. What's it? No, it's not... Anyway, this one here was one of my favorite ones because it challenged me. It's so I so identified it with, with it because we get fearful at times when the enemy comes around with big mountains, big uh, hurdles uh, for us to, to cross, or when he tries to discourage us. I should put it that way. When Satan tries to discourage us, don't listen to Satan's voice where he says you're not enough. You never have what it takes because you do through God's grace, through God's power, by his power. You don't without him, but with Christ you do. Now are we going to go voice of truth? Let's go with power and the blood, then we can do voice of truth. Right? Now you already put that up there. Okay, Maria Casapitis requested power in the blood. I'm glad you do those last names and not me. I don't know if I say it right. <laughs> power in the blood. Oh, this is a good one. Let me see. Let's do it in the key of A, I think. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Well, there is power. service would you do service for jesus your king there's power in the blood power in the blood would you live daily his praises to sing there's wonderful power in the blood there is power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb Now, I don't have a clock up here, so I'm liable to go over time. But actually, I have a good excuse then to do that, right? No, just kidding. Um, yeah, let's do Voice you of Truth. You have to quit when it's dark. You have, what's that? You'll have to quit when it's dark. I'll have to quit when it's dark. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, we'll quit before that. We want to do some train songs tonight, too. 
just to get just to get um mr reese talking there right? you think voice of truth Oh, what I would do to have the kind of faith it takes to step out of this boat. Um, whoops, I got the wrong pitch. I'm sorry. In the key of C. Let's try that again. My bad. Oh, what I would do to have the kind of faith it takes to climb out of this boat. I'm in unto the crashing waves. Step out of my comfort zone Into the realm of the unknown Where Jesus is And he's holding out his hand And the waves are calling out my name And they laugh at me Reminding me of all the times I've tried before and failed The waves they keep on telling me Time and time again, boy, you'll never win, you'll never win. But the voice of truth tells me a different story. The voice of truth says, do not be afraid. And the voice of truth says, this is for my glory. Out of all the voices calling out to me, I will choose to listen and believe the voice of truth. Oh, what I would do to have the kind of strength it takes to stand before a giant with just a sling and a stone surrounded by the sound of a thousand warriors shaking in their armor wishing they'd had the strength to stand but the giant's calling out my name and he laughs at me reminding me of all the times i've tried before and failed and the giant keeps on telling me Time and time again, boy, you'll never win, you'll never win. But the voice of truth tells me a different story. The voice of truth says do not be afraid. And the voice of truth says this is for my glory. Out of all the voices calling out to me. I will choose to listen and believe the voice of truth. But the stone was just the right size to put the giant on the ground. And the waves, they don't seem so high from the top of them looking down. I will soar with the wings of the eagles when I stop and listen to the sound of Jesus singing over me. But the voice of truth tells me a different story. The voice of truth says do not be afraid. And the voice of truth says this is for my glory. Out of all the voices calling out to me, I will choose to listen and believe the voice of truth. And that is what our goal is, right? To listen to the voice of truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I think we're going to switch gears a little bit and do that train. Do we have the train whistle up here? Oh, yes, you brought it. Okay. When we were doing some train songs, for fun songs we call them, um, somebody sent us this train whistle. It was Mr. Hoover, Dan Hoover, from Pennsylvania. And he told me the other day when we met him that he just started building it. He didn't have any design or plan. And he just shaped it and put it together, and he just feels like God led him. And he has all the tones now. Go ahead and blow that thing once, honey. Isn't that neat? By the way, when we were praying, I heard a, I think I heard a train way in the distance. Am I right? Three of them. Three, what? Three of them? Yeah. Just like by here? Yeah. Oh, my word. I didn't hear that. Boy, I, oh. I must not have been paying attention. You're in the zone. Yeah, I'm in the zone. That's right. I had zoned them out. Well, we lived alongside of a railroad track in Delaware, and I remember first when we moved there, you always noticed when the train went, the china would even kind of tingle a little bit in the, clo in the uh, china closet. But then after a while, you got so used to it that 
and when visitors would come, they'd notice it. But other than that, you didn't really notice it. Okay. Matter of fact, I got a good story for you, Tom, about trains. Engineers, I think, have a sense of humor too, because I was out disking the ground and right, right next to the train track, and going the direction away from the train was coming up behind me. And right when that guy got, just before I saw him. He blew that whistle, and I mean, I pretty near jumped off of that tractor. It scared me so bad, because you had the tractor roaring, you know, and all of a sudden, Ma! <laughs> anyway, I looked at him, and he waved. Now, I'm not sure if he was chuckling or not, but I'm pretty sure he saw me jump. But, yeah, you know the story of the wreck of old 97. It happened around here in the area, and Tom discovered something really cool. That is one of the men that was on the train when the accident happened is buried just over here across the fields and the uh, graveyard over here and he you had a picture of him what was his name again tom Winfield Scott Chambers. yeah amazing so this this area is rich with train stories uh, and then also tragedies all oh, my lands the wreck of 97 and of course i can't help but mention that tragedy until i go back to the one that happened with the um was that was any of your relatives on that one the fire truck that got hit by the train that was way back. Was that in the 80s, maybe? 80s, okay. 89. Wow. What a tragedy. Oh, my. I remember hearing that just trying to wrap my mind around how horrible that must have been for uh, everyone in, involved in that. How many died? Three. Okay. Four? Two. Okay. All right. Okay, I got you. All right. Wow. Anyway, so Johnny Cash, I don't know who else sings this wreck of old 97. Comes out of that story. So you got to blow the whistle, honey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you do you have the order that, you know, that, that Tom gave you? Yeah. You got it? One long. One long. A short. A short. Too long. Ah, Too see? long, a short, and a long. All right. Go ahead. It gave him his orders at Monroe, Virginia, saying, Steve, you're way behind time. This is not 38, no, this is old 97. Gotta pull her into Spencer on time. He turned and said to his black greasy fireman, let's shovel on a little more coal. And when we cross that wide open mountain, just watch old 97 roll. Was a mighty rough road from Lenberg to Danville on a climb with a three mile grade. It was on that grade that he lost his air brakes. See what a jump he made. He was coming down the grade and making 90 miles an hour. His whistle broke into a scream. He was found in the wreck with his hand on the throttle, scalded to death by the steam. Well, all you ladies had better take a warning from this time on and learn. Never speak harsh words to your true loving husband he may leave and never return she ran out of air <laughs> my mom always told me i had a lot of air <laughs> Good job, hon. Appreciate that. While we're on train songs, let's do that real Life is Like a Mountain Railroad song, too. Do you have that one in there somewhere? Yeah, let's do that. We'll do some train sounds with that. Somebody who, who wrote this song, and I'm not sure who it was. I know the um, Cash family sang it, I think. But um, who? The Oaks. The Oaks, okay. Had a good, good, uh, some good word pictures of how our Christian life is, right? We come up on on the curves and tunnels and all kinds of things we need to be careful and watch our keep our eyes on the savior so i think we'll play it through once we get on that put, uh, put some sound in
Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's great. We must make a run successful from the cradle to the grave. Watch the curves that fills the tunnels. Never falter, never fail. Keep your hand up on the throttle. And your eye upon the rail. Blessed Savior, thou would guide us till we reach that peaceful shore where the angels wait to join us in thy praise forevermore. Oh. You will roll grades of trial, you will cross the bridge of strife, see that Christ is your conductor on this lightning train of light, always mindful of obstruction, do your duty, never fail, keep your hand upon the throttle, and your right As you roll across the trestle, spanning Jordan, swelling tide, you behold a Union Depot, into which your train will guide. There you'll meet the superintendent, God the Father, God the Son, with a heart in joyous plundered. We repay, open welcome home. Blessed Savior, thou wilt guide us till we reach that blissful shore where the angels wait to join us in thy praise forevermore. <laughs> All right. Uh, we had fun with that. <clears throat> Anybody else have anything to say? Yes. I speak Jesus. I wish I did. I worked on it a little bit. I, well, and, and I, and we have we have the lyrics printed out actually. But do you want to sing it? Because I I don't know. If, my problem is that I'm not good on the rhythm and and with that song but I love that song I speak Jesus into oh yeah wow. it's a powerful one that's that's all my bucket list for sure to learn so yes sir I saw a wounded rob drop the last which one I saw a wounded robin I saw a wounded robin you know what you're gonna have to forgive me but as as old as I am I never learned that song really? did somebody else hey, you want to sing it We, we need them. We need them. We need the melody line. Because I, I, I could probably strum along with it if, if, if I heard the tune. But yeah, that's that's I'm a not neat. Sure if I know all the lyrics for sure, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucks. Sorry, sorry, I can't do that one. We can't do that. One. Yeah. Well, you know, we do sing one about Virginia. It's actually about West Virginia that John Denver wrote. But I guess you, you'll, you know, if we sing West Virginia, you'll, you'll be okay with that, right? Yeah, it's okay to sing that. All right, let's do that one. The country road. <laughs> Remember them old country roads with dust just a flying everywhere? You still have some of them in Virginia? All right, you got it. All right, you got a couple. I remember um, we our farm for a while there, our barn was about three miles from a house. And Dad would go off to work. So at lunchtime, my brother, he would drive the old, uh, I think it was a 66 Oliver tractor, and we had a little cart behind it. We go tearing up that dirt road, you know, and dust just a billowing around us, and yeah, it was fun. Anyway, now I don't like them; they make my car dusty. <laughs> That's terrible. What's the matter? It's 8:26 already. Unverstanden. What time did we start? All right, we gotta quit. Oh. 
Almost, we started late. Yeah, well, we're going to end late, too. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Lower River, life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place. Take me home, country road. All my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. The misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eye. Country road, take me home. Place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. I hear her voice in the morning hour, she calls me, the radio reminds me of my home far away, driving down the road I get a feeling I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road, take me home, down country Yeah, there you go. Yeehaw. There's a couple of those country roads in Canyon City, Colorado that Ruth only drove on once and she won't go back on again. <laughs> the one's called the Shelf Road. She just does not enjoy that ride. I love it because you can see like right down there at the edge. <laughs> but anyway. No guardrails. No guardrails. That's right. Anyone else before we quit here? <laughs> What's a good song to wrap up on? Um, how beautiful it must be is one. You could do that one. I want us to be together in heaven. Oh, I love that song. Boy, that, that's a Nelson sings that, doesn't it? Did you ever sing that one? How's it? You might have tried. <laughs> uh, yeah. I want us to be together in heaven. Is that right? I want to walk. On the streets of pure gold. We have it. Yeah, we can we can sing that one. I think if if we have the music to it, is it in there? I want us to be together. Okay, good. Let's try it. That's a good one. Th that's so true. And I know it sounds cliche, but I say this to the folks. Um, you know, evil's getting bolder. I, that's about the only way I know to put it. And we're facing a lot of things that we would have never imagined facing, quite frankly, with our culture, some of the things there, and, of course, the thing we've come through. But can I just encourage you all, keep on going. Keep that faith strong. Keep that fire burning. Let the Holy Spirit just uh, be your companion and, and guide as you go on. And, and if we don't see each other again here on this earth, we will see each other in heaven. Amen? I don't know what that's going to be like, but it's going to be better than what we can imagine. I'm sure of that. So. So how's the car here? Let me see. Ooh. Let's start with the chorus. I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk down the streets of your goal. I want to run through the fields of his love. See the mountains, see the flowers, hear the singing, it's all ours. Hear the river gently flowing, hear the gentle breezes blowing. I want us to be together in heaven. At 
better call it at that. <laughs> I can't hardly see the words anymore down there. I guess I could pull them up closer, but yeah. Well, let's sing one we're all familiar with yet. Matter of fact, we'll just wrap up with this one. I w I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Join us with Jesus as we travel this side. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. You will notice we say brother and sister around here. It's because we're a family and these folks are so dear. When one has a heartache, we all shed a tear and rejoice in each victory in this family so dear. And I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain. Cleansed by His blood, join heirs with Jesus as we travel this side. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. I think so. We'll have a prayer after this, or do you want us to pray now? No. Okay, that's probably Yeah. We want to thank Mark and Ruth again for their diligence in doing this all through this time. March 22, 2020, I believe, was number one, and here we are. Wow. Back in Midland, Virginia. Near the land of Ruth's birth, is it, by the way, where she started. That's right. And she's a where Mark's life changed forever when he picked her up. That's right. We are so grateful that they could be here. Trevor, we miss you, buddy. We do miss you, but we enjoyed when you were here the other time and the other times that we got to see you. So thank you. That was a very big ministry, more than you know. Kathy Valentine Park, I was told that I have to say hi to you. All right. So I'm doing it. All right. I'm doing that. I want you to know, and all you other folks, too. Once again, we want to thank the Day Spring Mennonite Church for the Amen. use of this facility. This evening has been far more temperature pleasant than we imagined it was going to be and the rain didn't hit us we god was good we were here it went where it needed to be i suppose we thank you all for for being here for watching live here in the audience and for people that are online there is some snacks still available if you want some good and elsie thought she was going to leave me holding a bag this is the bag we would like to put a love gift in for Mark and Ruth. If you feel so inclined to leave something, we got a little bag. And then we're going to leave them holding the bag. All right? And it'll be theirs to deal with. But we would thank you for it if you can. All right? And Bob, Yoder, if you would dismiss us again with prayer, I would deeply appreciate that. And thank you all for your your uh, being here and for your love. And I uh, would want to say this yet. I've come to Day Spring a few times through the years, and and especially we sang. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. When we learned to weep with each other, we learned to rejoice with each other. And I just really felt that and sensed that uh, at Raymond's memorial service, especially how you folks know how to love. God's people know how to love. We shall know them by their love. And I just saw that over and over. So thank you for that. And God bless you all.
Gary wants to start and he wants to lead to the two. Yeah, he wants to lead to the two. I would just like to say God's blessings to Ruth and Mark for what they have done for the last couple of years. We just sang along. It's been mighty blessed for us to listen to. I feel like they've blessed a lot of others as well. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate that very much. Yeah. Yeah, we're going out with a bang. That was all planned. <laughs> was that planned? <laughs> you never know with Les and Tom around what's going to happen next. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, brother Larry, my wife and I would love to have pictures with you too, if, if you don't mind. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. All right. Should take pictures with the whole crowd too. Yeah. <laughs> There before we left. Oh wow! Oh, I'm sure great. she appreciates it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Thank you, man. You're getting a break right now. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Have fun on the doggy song, girl. <laughs> No way. One of the more challenging things is just this whole dimension. Or a fair amount of strength. Her mom really could be. She's not a very one of the things. One of the siblings that pretty much there all the time. We actually just talk to you from pretty much still there all the time. She gets around, but she's going to move back to the house. So, going there, then we'll just leave. I'm going to go to the house. You probably could come saying it. You can drive it somewhere. Well, I didn't know exactly the lead. My wife and I were saying the lead. We're not Danny. I saw the lead. We were driving the house. We were driving the house. We were driving the house. We should have got those words out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's, it's crazy. Our daughter's with this movie. Yeah, I think that's a good Yeah, well, thanks, Sam. Yeah. Oh, just for me, man. We're not sure, brother. We're, you know, I, we don't know. We've really never made any plans for it. I was just thinking, I would love to have you all Yeah, she's thought about coming here with us, but she's going to try to get up with the friends. Yeah, we are. 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 Are you past the kitchen? No. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
them, but I, I, I love them. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, we heard, we heard the storm the, things go off. Oh, there's shots in the room. They're going to have an outside. <laughs> <laughs> we were afraid that might keep some people away. Yeah. Like, they're crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, Les was saying he, he wanted that time when more people do the show up. It turned out pretty pleasant out right? there. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's yeah. yeah. nine day out here today. You've been baking. I hear you. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? Construction. Ooh, so you, for a you feel the heat, house. brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Wow. We're for construction company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See that when we drove in from Colorado. He comes up here to the cattle area. What's the whole rule? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he works for them. Okay. So he works for them. Okay. Yeah. And the suckers are punished. Yeah. Uh, you can't chew that yep. stuff sometimes. I know it. It wasn't quite as far for me today, but depending yeah. on how you go through town, it, that's what makes a difference. Man, I tell you, I, and then Mark, you, you get, on the, you get on into the heavy traffic all the time? Oh, my <laughs> Like even this 28. Oh, oh yeah, this, this always been Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This, this road is always been a terrible road. It's a shortcut going over to Remington. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. They claim that's what it is. Should have been putting in the four lane a long time ago. That's what Ruth was saying too, yeah. yeah. So it's been like this. Shit. Ever since I could.